So it says for back line, the back, that portion of the body from the rear point of the withers to the beginning of the loin is strong and level. The loin, which is that part of the body extending from the end of the rib cage to the start of the pelvis is short and muscular. The croup, that portion of the body from the start of the pelvis to the tail set on is only slightly sloping. So this dog being overgrown, it looks like she has a rise here. Yeah, there's a slope here, but we can fix this to make it look level from here and then slightly sloping to the tail set on. For grooming a top line, you wanna make sure your dog is stacked as well as possible. So that means hocks straight up and down, um, front underneath the withers and standing straight. So if they turn, you need to make them stand straight because it can really affect the way that top line looks if they move too much. Um, and same thing if they're stretched out too far, you'll get a dip. So you want them stacked before you do any trimming on a top line. So we know we need to take this down, but also know where your tail starts because you can see what you need to take down. For top lines, take a little bit at a time. This is where I'll use my chunker shears to just take a little bit at a time so you don't take big chunks out and accidentally get too short. Take your time when doing this. So I'll easily take a little bit of this off. We need to lower this line here. I always use straights for this. Definitely do not use curves for this. So see the little bit of hair that's taken down, but how much better that looks already. I'll change out to my, these are my longer straights. She has a nice slope to her tail already, so we don't need to put one in. And I kind of round out the top. You don't want it to be flat and square, so it should flow nicely into each leg. at a time, looking at what you got, comparing it to the rest. That looks pretty good. We'll probably retouch it once we get the front groomed. Maybe we have to adjust things here. But again, you don't want to take anything too short. There's still a good half inch of curl here down to nothing because you'll have bare patches on the back. And uh, you can curl this in a little bit more too with some cold, cold rinses. So the, for the, the top line, um, the back, that portion of the body from the rear point of the withers to the loin is straight. So you can see on her, she's got some extra coat here. Um, this is again where I'll use either my big long straights or my chunkers just to take a little bit at a time. Again, for this too, you need to hold them in a stacked position because if you move them, it changes where that hair is. Um, you can do this even with them on the floor if it's hard for you to reach the top line. Um, so I'll stay. Um, start just a little bit at a time, kind of whittling it down till you get to the point that you like how it looks. And again, it should be straight from the withers to the um, start of the, the loin, so the end of the rib cage. Um, you can put your shears like this or, you know, sideways um, here, I'll stay. but you want it to be st straight and again I kind of round it around you don't want it flat on the back just a little bit at a time sure to look at it level. So that looks pretty good. We're going to get to the neck, but for top line, that's where we kind of want to be at. Good.